chicken licking. On a sunny farm there lived a fuzzy yellow chick called Chicken Licking. He was happy and hoppy, but he wasn't the brightest chicken in the coop. Where's my hat? I can't find my hat anywhere. Where's it gone? Anybody seen it? Where is his hat? Oh yes, it's on his head. Oh my goodness, I see what they mean. One warm autumn day, Chicken Licking was hop skip skipping through the woods when suddenly an acorn dropped from a tree and bounced off his head. Click, clack, clonk. Oh, my feathers! Was that a piece of sky? He squeaked. Oh, help, help! Trembling, Chicken Lickin scurried back to the hen house, squawking. The sky's falling! The sky's falling! What's all this noise? Clucked Henny Penny. The sky is falling! Panted Chicken Lickin. It went click, clack, clonk on my head! Henny Penny dropped her spectacles. Dear me, she gasped, we must tell the king. He'll know what to do. So Chicken Licken and Henny Penny ran over to the duck pond, squawking and clucking. The sky's falling! We must find the king. Did I hear you say the sky's falling? Quacked Ducky Lucky. Yes, it fell on my head with a click clack clonk, said Chicken Licken. What will we do? cried Ducky Lucky. The king will save us, Henny Penny said. We must find him at once. So Chicken Lickin, Henny Penny and Ducky Lucky dashed off again, squawking and clacking and clucking all the way. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! Did you say the sky is falling? Gobbled Turkey Lurkey. Quick, you take over. I'm going to hide behind this bush. Well, that's not much help, is it? There's no time to lose. We must hurry to find the king. So Chicken Licking, Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky and Turkey Lurkey charged down the path shouting, The sky is falling! We must find the king! But it wasn't the king that they saw. It was Foxy Loxy. Uh, what seems to be the problem, my fine feathered friends? Grinned Foxy Loxy. The sky is falling, puffed Chicken Licking. We must tell the king. It went click, clack, clonk on my head. Foxy Loxy licked his lips. Poor little birds, he said. Come with me and I will help you to find the king. And so Foxy Loxy led the search for the king. The animals started in the bookshop. No, the king is not in here, said Foxy Loxy, peeping into a recipe book. A recipe book is a very special book. Mm -hmm. And I don't see him in here. Oh, how frightful, said Foxy Loxy, as he picked up some herbs and spices. <gasps> now I remember where the king is, said Foxy Loxy with a smile. I invited him to my den for dinner. I expect he's waiting there. Oh, do say you'll join us for the feast, my dear friends. Don't worry, it's not much further to my den, chuckled Foxy Loxy, starting to drool. Foxy Loxy opened the door and the birds waddled inside. It was cold and dark in Foxy Loxy's den. Uh, I don't see the king, muttered Henny Penny. Perhaps he's running late. I can't see anything at all, said Chicken Lickin. Then Foxy Loxy lit the chandelier. It's almost time for dinner, he said. What is for dinner, said Ducky Lucky. You are, he said, and he leapt at the birds. Help, help, they all cried. Help! Oh my goodness. And they squawked and they screeched and they fluttered and they flapped until the whole den shook and the chandelier fell. Click, clack, clonk on Foxy Loxy's head. Yikes, he said. The sky really is falling. And he dashed away as fast as he could, straight into His Majesty the King. Greetings crowed the king. What's this I hear about the sky falling? The whole town is in a flutter. But look, my dear friends, the great blue sky is still up there. Chicken Lickin gazed up 
and he saw the king was right. So the birds hopped, skipped and played under the bright sky all afternoon. And they never saw Foxy Loxy again. The end. <laughs>